Hey YouTube family, James Green. Here's a short series shenanigan. So this is all in regards to getting the mail up and running. Uh, got the rotary phase converter installed and uh, this connector here that is part of the strain connector that slides over the cord. It's a little bit small because the insulation is so big. Uh, it's the exact same type of wire that was on there but the older wire, the insulation was a little thinner in diameter. So it's still the three-quarter connector. So what I'm going to do is open this up just a little bit so it'll slide over the insulation and we'll still, so that's all we're doing. We're just going to open this up just a little bit. I've tried squeezing it on and it, it's just, if it's not right, get it to where it fits right. Now to go to a larger the next larger the connector would be way too big for the wire so we're just going to put this in the uh, lathe here and I'm going to do something unique. We're going to use the drill hog and I've got these stepped bits. I've talked about these before. Uh, this one's actually spiral fluted. These things get busy with it. So uh, what's nice about them is they have the uh, three flats on there so you can put them in your uh, hand drills and you don't have to worry about it just being a round shaft or them slipping. So we're going to actually use this in the tailstock here. I've got the garage door open that's why it's really bright out. So what we're going to do, we're just going to slide this in and uh, we're not going to be doing any heavy cuts but we'll still give a little a little bit of a grunt there. So we're just going to slide this in here and uh, get it as even as possible in the three jaw. And you could use a boring bar and a myriad of setups and we'll be careful not to over tighten and squish that. So we're just going to have us on low. We're going to run 70 RPM. And this is an idea where a stepped bit typically comes in handy. You just need to make a hole a little bit bigger. So let me get this out of the way so you guys can see. And I'm just going to slide this forward and then we're going to hand feed hand feed it in so you're watching this live and unedited just like me we'll go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what we got going on here Whoop. sorry I'm trying to be as careful as possible so here we go getting in all right there we go okay I want to make sure things right it's kind of hard to see the camera when I got the light shine in the background So we're just going to come in here and step it out just a little bit. Feeding real easy. And being real light. Going up to the next step. That should clear everything. Okay, let's pop it out and take a look. I bet that'll work now. All right. And I'll try to move you guys over here. I know the camera's going to wash out. So we're hooking everything up here. I know it's bright as all get out here. Got to love the bright New Mexico sun. I had to open up the garage door to get some airflow. We've got a light breeze. So again, everything is unplugged. Nothing is plugged in. And so there's no live power going to any of this. So what it was, it was too small here and it didn't want to fit. So let's see if we've got it opened up enough to where everything will slide in here for our, I'm going to have to deburr that a little bit. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that was the issue. Just wouldn't slide, wouldn't quite slide on. And here's the uh, three-quarter connector because the next size up 
is uh, one of those. Well, it's three quarter on the back, but that would not fit here. It was too big, so for half and three quarter, however they however they size them. So there we go. Quick little video of because I wanted to see it was something unique. Hey, here's a chance to do a unique video on the drill hog stepped bits and I'll go back and show you the two different types they have here that I use just because they're handy they're handy 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 so <clears throat> I'm a big fan of these step bits I have various sizes they also have some that are straight fluted and I have several of these and I broke one I broke the tip off of one and uh, I haven't, well, actually, I did it off two of them. I couldn't find it at the time, but I did send it in. They did send a replacement. I haven't sent this one off yet. Uh, actually, I need to send them a picture of, hey, this one broke. Can you send me another one, which I've already done that before. Uh, what I do with these when they're broke, rather than send them back to them, is I have a scrap bucket. I keep all the, uh, I call it the good metal, like your carbide inserts, tooling, stuff like that. That's what I put the drill bits in. So... I've got several of them here. So this is what they look like and they've actually got, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, actually has the sizes marked. Okay. As this one does not, well it does in one of the flutes, but you can see this one goes from 3 16 up to 7 8 and it is marked, it's kind of, I don't know if it'll show up on camera but it is written in that one flute in there. Kind of hard to see. So they've got a bunch of different sizes of these. That's an example of you need to widen the hole just a little bit. There you go. That's why it's good to have these stepped bits. People always ask about them. What are they good for? Making holes just a little bit bigger and that was really soft material. Using a regular bit, I know they can get grabby and tear stuff. I really like these fluted ones. These fluted step bits are awesome for jobs just like that. And the little ones even have the three flats too. So you can uh, pop them in your hand drill. Which I could have. But I didn't want to try to hold that and have it slip. So I thought, well, let's do it in the lathe. But you can slap it in your drill. Wrench down and go at it. Great in case you got to make a bunch of holes bigger. Or they're kind of off a little bit for a project. So... There's a quick video, guys and gals. We're out here in the shop hooking up the bridge, getting Bridget back up and running. We're really excited, but I figured I'd throw that out there uh, because that is something new and unique. And I know I've been lacking on content here lately because it just life's been busy. So there you go. Thanks for watching. My public email address, if you guys have any questions, eagledustoff37 at gmail.com. Now, anytime I do one of these drill hog videos, everybody has a myriad of questions. If you have any questions, Drill Hog's email address is drillhog at gmail.com. Attention Mike, you know, mention him in the email. Mike, I have a question. You guys go on to eBay. The reason they don't have their own website, they're a small company. There's already a, a manufacturing platform out there for uh, eBay to use as their store onto Amazon. So why reinvent the wheel when something's already out there to keep your costs down? So that way, because everyone always asks, and they do have 100% guarantee now. On the back, you, I'll cover it up, but they actually give you a little serial number tag that's registered to you. Take a picture of that. If the bit breaks, take a picture of that. Take a picture of your broken bit in the email. Hey, Mike, my item blah, blah, blah broke. Can I get a replacement? You don't have to send the old one in. They'll send you a replacement out. So huge fan of their stuff, guys and gals. Built in Sunburst, Montana, and they ship out of the distributor hub is in city of industry california awesome stuff no it's not import yes it's made in the u.s and they are going to be a, they are a sponsor out at the summer bash information down on the bottom drill hog summer bash you guys have any questions contact him mike is a great guy he's uh been phenomenal with warranty and stuff when it does break but guys and gals i don't know of any other company out there that warranty stuff when it does break I've been 100% satisfied. So there you go. Public email address. If you guys have any questions, you want to know more. EagleDustOff37 at gmail.com. 
I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. I also have my public uh, Facebook page, Eagle Dust Off 37 on Facebook. Until next time, you guys be safe. Get out in the shop and do something. Take care of yourself and your family, because remember, at the end of the day, you and your family is all you got. Until next time, be safe. Bye-bye.